Hey everyone, welcome back again. Today I will show you how to make 3D cinematic intro animation in After Effects, like this. For this I will use Element 3D plugin in Saber from Video Copilot, which you can download from the link in description. Ok now let's get start the video. Here you can see that I have already created this animation. And now I am going to show you how to make this. First create a new composition, rename it. I am going to use 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel, 30 frame rate per second. And duration I will use 10 second. Now create a new solid, rename it to logo mask. I will use a logo for this animation, but you are free to use texture logo. Change the logo mask color to white. Now, copy your logo path from Illustrator and paste it in logo mask layer. Create another new solid, change its color to black. Rename it Element 3D and hit OK. Select the Element 3 layer, go to Effects and Presets, Video Copilot, and select Element from here. Now go to Custom Layer, Custom Text in Musk. Here select our logo mask. If you are using text, select your text. After that, click on Scene Setup. It will open Element 3 panel. Now click on Extrude. It will make a 3 model of our logo. Now we need to customize it. Select this and change the path resolution to Extreme. It will increase our logo quality. Now select the bevel one and change Extrude value to 3. We need to more bevels. Select this layer and change the bevel copy to 3, it will create to more bevel for us. Now here, just follow my steps. I will speed up the video here to save your time. Just adjust the bevel settings to get a cool effects to our logo. By the way, if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe. It's motivate me to create more videos for you. If you are supporting me on Patreon, you can download all of my premium templates and resource for free. Okay, now let's apply some materials on it. I am using Pro Shaders to for this. Go to Metals and apply a material that look good on your logo. I am using this material for this animation, you can choose any of them. Now change the lighting to dramatic. Let's rename this layer to Logo and create a new plane for background. Change its size to 50 by 50 and apply a material for background. Now go to UV mapping and change UV repeat to 10 by 10. To adjust the background position, drag it down. Now change its reflection mode to mirror surface. Click OK and back to After Effects. Go to Render Setting, Lighting and change it to Dramatic. Enable Shadow from here and go to Ambine Occlusion. Change the intensity to 8 or 12 and sample set to 32. Now enable fog from here and set the fog opacity 100%. Adjust all of the settings to get a nice effects. Now create a new adjustment layer and rename it to levels. I am going to apply levels effect on it. Go to effects and presets panel and search for levels. Apply it to the adjustment layer and play with its settings. 
Again, create another adjustment layer and rename it to Curves. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Curves. Apply it on this layer and adjust its settings. Now it's time to create a camera. I am using 35mm camera for this animation. Hit OK. Now zoom it with camera and adjust the logo position. Now I am going to animate this logo with its camera position. Create a new solid and rename it to Feather. Select this layer and create a mask on it. Now go to Feather and increase it. Duplicate the logo mask and place it above of Element 3D. Select this and go to Effects, Video Copilot, and select Saber from here. If you don't have the Saber plugin, you can download it from the link in description. It's 100% free. From here, select a preset. You can select Neon or Core. I am using Core for this animation. Set the Glow Intensity 50% and adjust other settings. From here, Change the core type to layer mask. Set the blending mode to add. And make this layer 3D. Now select the anchor point and drag it to bellow here. Select the logo mask and set the mask ovulation 45%. Now create a keyframe to mask ovulation. Start offset and end offset. Forward round 5 second and set mask ovulation to 1. And start offset Now duplicate this layer, right-click on your mouse. Go to Transform and flip it vertical. Press T, open Opacity, set it 20%. Go to Effects and Presets, search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Apply it to this layer. Change Zoom Value to Brightest. Our animation is almost complete. Let's see the preview. Now if you want to change the Saber preset, you can change it anytime from here. Now let's see how to render it from After Effects. Go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. From here, select your video format. If you have audio in your project, you can turn on it. Now from here, select your output folder where you want to save it. Hit OK. Turn on Caps Lock from your keyboard and click on Render button. It will start render your video. So this was the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video. Don't forget to write a comment what you want in next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back in next tutorial. Till then, take care, goodbye.